So today we're going to calculate delta G at 25 degrees Celsius for the decomposition of carbon tetrachloride gas. That's this reaction right here. Now we're given this formula, delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. And we're given these values, delta H and delta S, and we're given the temperature that's 25 degrees Celsius. So we're going to use all of this information and plug it into this formula to find delta G. But we need to make sure that everything is in its proper units so that it cancels out properly and adds properly. So the first thing we're going to do is take the temperature and put it into Kelvin. Because when it's multiplied by delta S, you'll be left with joules. So to turn this into Kelvin, we take 25 and we add 273 to it. And that gives us 298 Kelvin. Now the next thing we're going to do is make sure that delta H and delta S are either both in kilojoules or both in joules. So I'm going to take delta H and convert it into joules. So 95.7 kilojoules is 95,700 joules. You could convert delta S into kilojoules and you would get the same answer both ways. So now we're going to plug these values into our delta G formula and get our answer. So delta G equals delta H, that's 95,700 joules, minus T, our temperature we found was 298 Kelvin, multiplied by the delta S, 142.2 joules per Kelvin. Plugging that into our calculator, we get delta G equals 53,324.4 joules. So rounding this to three significant figures, we get delta G equals 53.3 kilojoules. And because delta G is positive, this reaction is non-spontaneous at 25 degrees Celsius.